up everybody tonight we've got a machining project in the shop got a guy I work with asked if I could take his pistol slide and he wants me to machine a slot in the slide right here so that he can mount his red dot sight to it and he had it mounted on here before but he had to use the dovetail right here and it has an adapter plate so we're gonna take and machine a slot out right here we're gonna tap it and then he'll be able to just take his red dot sight and he'll be able to mount it directly to the slide and that gives him more clearance so that he basically has a better sight plane with the pistol because it drops that red dot sight down. So we're gonna get it all set up on the mill and get cranking. Okay. So we're over here at the mill. I've taken my calipers and the slide and I've figured out how far I need to come off the end here and then from the ejection port here and I've taken my calipers and scribed a mark on there so I know where to mill out. I'm just gonna get it set up here in the mill on a set of parallels. Get it all set up and ready to go and go from there. I think I'm just gonna put a paper towel in there to try to avoid scratching this any more than I have to. Okay, so we got it all set up there. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our end mill in there and see if we can't get her knocked out. Okay, so I was going through my machine tools and I was trying to figure out what size of end mill I wanted to use. And I remembered I have this indexable end mill. Okay, these are really good because they use a carbide tooth. You can see this one has three, but that's a good thing because you can rotate these three times so you get a lot more use out of them. And carbide holds up a lot better to hard steel which I'm pretty sure this slide is some type of hardened steel if it's not stainless steel so we're gonna we're gonna try this it actually works out perfect because this is a two inch end mill and the slot we need to cut is exactly two inches so we're gonna get this set up and we're gonna put it right in the middle of our scribe marks and see if we can't just go ahead and make maybe two, three passes and get the slot cut out. Take our drill chuck out. Okay, so we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna just take a test pass of about 10 thou and see how it handles it. And then we could probably kick it up to 20 or 30 thou if it does okay. But I wanna see how this steel handles it first. So here we go. So just to make sure that this slide is parallel with the table, I think I'm going to take the paper towel out. So, better to find out now or make the adjustment now than find out later that it wasn't parallel and then not have it parallel with the slides. He's going to have to recoat this anyway, so I'd rather it be perfectly square and him have to worry about recoating it instead of me screwing it up and then the slide's no good. So. Okay, so we got it centered back up now. We're going to touch off again and then take a pass. Okay, we 
touched off. We're going to go up with our table and see how it goes. Cutting pretty well so far. It's going to go nice and slow. Okay, so our 10 thousandths test pass went really good. It looks good. It looks square and level. We're going to take it up another 20 thousandths and then run another pass. Okay, so quick update. We were out here late last night trying to get this slide machined. We got the slot done, um, but we have ran into a little bit of a bump in the road. As you can see, the slot is machined, but in machining that slot, you can see there's a big old hole there. So pop goes the weasel. We have to figure out what to do there. And I just talked to the customer and he wants to try to TIG weld up the hole and see if the pin that slides up in there with the spring will still fit and will still function properly. So we're going to uh, try TIGging this up and then we're going to machine it back flat. We've still got to drill and tap a couple holes and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got some brake cleaner here. We're just going to spray down this towel with a little bit of brake cleaner. And we're going to take our slide. And I just want to clean that hole out really good before I start welding on it. So, try to get any dirt, grease, or grime out of there. I don't think there's a whole lot of pressure in this hole but there's probably a little bit so get her all cleaned up now all that's left to do is put the fire to her all right so got our welder all set up we're gonna move this grenade off the table so we can keep our eyebrows or life we're going to uh, see if we can't take up this hole all right we've got our welder set to about 125 amps here goes nothing Okay, so we got our slide back in the mill. We're gonna mill it back out and hopefully everything goes smooth. 
we're gonna have to brush up the material we're gonna have to clean up the material just a little bit I don't know if you can see that where the weld is it kind of bled over the top we'll be able to clean that up shouldn't be able to tell when it's done but we're gonna machine that back to the same surface as we had before and hopefully the hole is sealed up okay so we had to wait a couple days to get parts in the mail so that we could finish the slide and we got our parts they showed up today so we're gonna get these holes drilled we've already got our marks transferred so we're gonna drill these out and tap them and then we can get the site put on once that's done uh, but the customer also wanted me to see if I could clean up some of these serrations on the front I don't know if you can see that he did pretty good on this side but this side was a little chattery so he wanted to see if I could clean that up a little bit so we'll uh, we'll get it tapped and then we'll see what we can do with the serration thing but we'll go from there okay so we're gonna get this tool changed out Drill chuck back in. Okay, so we got our tools here. We're gonna go ahead and put our drill bit in. These are just cute little guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down. Okay, we're still there. Let's make sure and lock these so it doesn't move. Okay, so we're good there. We're right on our mark. So that's zero right there. So we're going to adjust this. We're just going to use our depth gauge here. And then what I like to do is I like to just take my calipers and I'll take and measure your, whatever your distance is. Measure here. We actually only need to go 150 thou, so that should get us close right there. Okay, time to cut a hole. Okay, we're gonna slow it down. Anytime you're drilling a hole in hard steel, you wanna slow it down. Nice and easy, we don't want to snap a bit, especially when they're $16 a piece. This is a 1.5 mil drill bit. Okay, so we got our tap here. This is an M3 by 05 tap. I'm gonna put it in the mill and I'm not gonna bite it on the keyed part. So this square part at the end of the tap, I am not gonna bite that because I want it to slip in the chuck when it starts getting tight. So I'm gonna put it in the chuck on the round part and I'm just gonna hand tighten it because really all I wanna do is just, I just wanna start tapping it and I'll finish it by hand. So here goes nothing. Make sure you got plenty of oil. And then have your hand on the switch and be ready to shut it off. Okay, I must not have had it tight enough. It's a delicate operation. Okay, so now we're going to back it out. Okay, so we got our tap wrench on here. We're just gonna go nice and easy. 
we've already got it started so it should go nice and easy I don't want to force it Ooh. when it starts flexing a lot you definitely want to back it out clear the tap you know clear the threads to where I can actually see what's going on and this is what we were left with we lost video of the final stages where we actually mounted the red dot but here's a picture kind of give you an idea of what it looked like when it was complete so this is going to wrap up this video and thanks for watching